Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. If you hear any noise in the background, it is raining. I love the sound of the rain, so I hope that you don't mind. Um, today's reading is going to be where we look at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. So we're going to jump right into it. Which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this one. All right, so let's get into it. Spirits, angels, guides, first Sagittarius. Now this reading will be for those of you who already have some sort of a connection or someone in mind. What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit, when it comes to love? Let's start with what's going on in your connection right now. What is going on for Sagittarius right now in love? As always, this is a, a this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate for every Sagittarius watching. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Sagittarius. I'll have it linked in the description box and pinned in the comments. So we got expectation number twenty-eight. Awaiting. Um, energy here someone waiting for the other person could be a masculine energy because I have main male at the bottom of the deck okay so let's see what else we need to do I'm gonna use my stellar energy oracle deck this is one of my very own decks and all of the decks that I use are linked in the description box along with information on personal readings my book love tarot made easy um, my website, my social media, the rings that I wear, everything that you need to know is in the description box right below this video. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit. What do we need to know? What's the energies in this connection for Sagittarius? These two. Okay, we have Secret Admirer. Didn't you get this last time? Intrigue, watchful, attraction, you've caught someone's eyes. So someone's probably keeping tabs on you uh, secretly. Taking action, movement, action, courage, time to make a move. So maybe you've been waiting on someone to make a move or someone's been waiting for the right time to make a move here while they're secretly keeping tabs on you. We will see when we get into the tarot here. Full disclosure, I am using uprights only right now just because I felt like I needed to. So, you know, if reversals make it back to the channel, they will um, when I feel like it, I guess, or when I'm called to. Okay, so let's see. First Sagittarius, please. What do they need to know, Spirit? I'm using the vice versa tarot here. What's going on for them in love right now? Let's see what's going on in your connections. You will know if this resonates soon enough. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. What else for Sagittarius? Oh, I got two. Five of Wands and the Page of Wands. So this Page of Wands definitely goes with this um Taking Action card. I feel like someone's thinking about delivering a message, communicating, um, making a move here with the Six of Swords, Page of Wands. But with the Five of Wands, there's almost like conflict, drama, possibly. Let's see. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is a card about uh, a departure. Leaving difficulties behind. Going somewhere more calm, more balanced. So there could be some sort of move that you or your person are making. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What is this about? The Knight of Pentacles. It's about an offer of some sort, an opportunity, someone taking their time to make something happen here. Why the Five of Wands? Why is the Five of Wands here? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Uh, I think emotions are running high right now. 
for whoever is dealing with this drama. Knight of Cups, King of Cups. Interesting. It's almost like someone coming in to either apologize or express how they feel is going to deal with um, some sort of drama or difficulty here with the Five of Wands. Um, they could be apologizing for drama as well. Oh, tell me about this page of wands. What's this page of wands about? The devil. Capricorn energy there. What's this page of wands about? There's a page of wands here. Four of pentacles. I feel like someone's been holding back or has been held back because of a situation that's probably been unhealthy. There could also be that someone has been holding tightly to something and, 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 and is unable to let it go. Let me get one more, hold on. Spirit, can I get some clarity on this double card with the Four of Pentacles? Can I get some clarity? Eight of Cups. Well, there's another card about a departure, the Eight of Cups. It could be that someone needs to leave this situation, this diff uh, difficult situation of some sort. Yeah, and then have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone's dealing with a very difficult situation either at home or just in general. This could be you or your person. And is contemplating a departure here, a move of some sort taking some sort of action and it's almost like you've been waiting for this or they are just waiting for the right time can you tell me more about this knight of pentacles this knight of pentacles about page of swords yeah this could be somebody watching doing research observing being curious or just wanting to communicate here i have the page of wands page of swords i have the knight of cups knight of pentacles so communication is definitely um, a common theme here. Maybe they're doing research on an opportunity they want to take, a place they want to move to. Um, maybe they're trying to be very careful about what wherever departure they have, you know, whatever departure they're making here. And I think that there's there's difficulty somewhere where you know it's like there's conflict drama just fighting arguments so let's get your energies here let's see how you feel about each other spirit tell me more about the energies between sagittarius and this other person tell me more about sagittarius and this other person let's start with you sagittarius me about Sagittarius, please. Sea Serpent. This is a spiritual card, and I'm getting a weird message. Hold on, let me look up. Oops. Sorry if that was loud. Healing emotional wounds. Expressing yourself. Move and direct energy into a healthy current. So that's the Six of Swords. So this is very uh, like healing, renewal energy. Um, expressing how we feel, letting things go. But the message that I got when I first saw that card was like, being in a cycle because notice how this elephant not elephant what i'm saying this snake is about to eat its own tail there and so i instantly thought of like being stuck in a cycle so we'll see what else we get now sagittarius i have you on this side i have your person on the other um but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more tell me more about the person sagittarius is dealing with tell me more about this person Okay, we have the fish. So this is someone that is a bit wishy-washy, doesn't know which direction to go on. 
um, kind of just wants to go with the flow, doesn't want to interrupt things or cause difficulty, um, might be directionless or losing focus. Um, so it might be that your person just doesn't know how to, how to deal with something right now or address something, what direction they should be going in. All right, so Spirit, tell me more about Sagittarius and this other person. Tell me more about Sagittarius, please. Let me check out. Number 20, romantic, charming, and passionate. So either you have a lot of passion for this person, there's probably strong chemistry with this person, or this is how this person, um, how you view this person, I should say. As someone romantic, charming, passionate. I mean, that is the Knight of Cups, King of Cups. Okay, tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Okay, we have Aquarius, number 12. So this person could be um, an Aquarius uh, or have Aquarius in their chart. Um, I'm also getting like the star energy from, because that's in the Tarot ma Major Arcana, the star is the Aquarius card. And I specifically used a starfish for this card for that reason. So I immediately thought about the star, which kind of makes sense if someone's trying to heal something, repair something. Um, but it could just be that you're dealing with an Aquarius as well. Bottom of the deck, I have fearless, motivated, and bold. So maybe this person is trying to find their courage to heal a situation, to address a situation. Uh, maybe they have a wish or a desire that they want to accomplish, but they haven't yet. So let's see. Let's look at the tarot. I'm using a brand new deck here um, by Gregory Scott. I like this deck. I don't recommend it for beginners because the artwork is... Um, very uh, unique. It doesn't necessarily go along with the traditional Rider weight. And for beginners, I, I'm thinking about doing a video actually, recommending decks and books for beginners, because I think it's important to keep the traditional Rider weight artwork in mind when you're learning. Anyways, why am I talking about this? Okay, let's start. <laughs> Tell me about Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Tell me about Sagittarius. What do we need to know about Sagittarius at this time? Okay, we have the King of Swords. What else for Sagittarius? Seven of Cups. So you have choices, options. Um, maybe you're thinking about what options you have with the King of Swords and the Seven of Cups in a logical, rational way here. Yeah, you're definitely trying to be strategic. I have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What's the Seven of Cups about? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ace of Pentacles. So there could be an opportunity coming your way. Maybe this person makes you an offer of some sort and you're evaluating the offer or maybe you're just looking for op what options you may have in order to have an opportunity here. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Why does this deck feel so heavy? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Two of Swords. Yeah, you might be undecided about this. Queen of Wands, about what to do, what you want. Uh, maybe you're a bit scared. And I only say that maybe, you know, you need to be bold because the Two of Swords in this particular deck, she looks like she's terrified. <laughs> um, 
And then bottom of the deck, I have the devil again. So this is some, you might be stuck in a situation that's not very healthy or a connection that's not healthy. I don't know if it's with this particular person here or what. Um, I feel like you don't want to make another mistake. Tell me about the king of swords and whatever decision this is, maybe you're not trying to let your emotions um, get in the way here because the king of swords does not really tap into their emotion. They're very wise, logical, analytical, almost dry. Ten of wands. What's this? Two of wands again with the choice. So there's a path that you can go down or a, dis or a direction that you can go in. Um, I feel like whatever situation you've been in, I, whether it's emotional or like a physical, you know, like a feeling stuck, I feel it's more emotional. But whatever situation this is that you feel like you need a way out or you need to evaluate your options, I feel it's because you've been in this situation for a long time. Uh, bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Swords. Yes, I feel like there's some sort of fear here. Anxiety over the future. Wondering what uh, what's going to happen next with the Two of Wands, Two of Swords. Not sure which direction to go down, especially with these two cards, the Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Uh, they're cards about like hesitancy. You know, the Two of Swords, it's a card about being undecided and almost like defensive and and you know the, the, her arms are crossed in the traditional tarot she's not open to making a decision right now the two of wands it's almost like patiently waiting uh because you're trying to figure out which path to go down so both of these cards are telling me that there's a decision you haven't made basically i don't know if it's regarding this person or this particular offer they could be making you an offer of some sort like i said Let's see. Tell me more about the Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Swords, Two of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. So again, there's doubt about the outcome of something. You're having doubts about what's going to happen next. Is all of your hard work going to pay off? I also got the message, am I fooling myself? So some of you are wondering if you're seeing something that's not there if you are trusting something that's not trustworthy tell me if that's resonating down in the comments but the seven of pentacles is a card about almost like um being worried about the outcome of all of the hard work or time that you've put into something king of cups at the bottom of the deck and then ooh, the ten of pentacles wanted to fall out as well king of cups again shows up you could be dealing with um, a water sign or this is just someone that you are you have a lot of love for you could be dealing with Aquarius Libra Gemini here as well so I have the king of swords so that could be how you're thinking about someone okay let's see what about your person tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with what do we need to know about this person so queen of cups okay so we have the king of cups queen of cups so I feel like um, there is passion, romance, uh, emotions here. Love. Tell me more about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Strength card, Leo energy. Again, with like be, trying to be strong or have courage. Um, I feel like this person doesn't have courage right now for some reason. And this is what they're trying to do. Why is strength here? Why is the strength card here? Nine of Pentacles. Three of Swords. So I feel like um, this is about being free, independent of something, being successful, but I feel like it's gonna hurt somebody or someone's worried about hurting the other person. Tell me more about strength. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is about a whole new beginning. A whole new beginning. Um, but for some reason, I feel like it's going to hurt somebody. 
or there's going to be some sort of um, disappointment that it's like by having a new beginning this person is going to disappoint someone i don't know if this is you or someone else why is the queen of cups here why is the queen of cups here king of wands again with the passion wanting to be bold queen of wands will be here as well I feel like you are um i mean there's a connection here for sure knight of swords so it's so funny especially in this deck the knight of swords is almost like someone being berated with the truth <laughs> So I'm getting, again, like arguments, argumentative uh, energy here. This Five of Wands. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone, commun again, this um, communicating how they feel, Page of, uh, I mean, King of Cups, Knight of Cups, now the Page of Cups. I feel like it's going to bring about some sort of arguments here. I don't know if this is with you or with like an outside party. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords and this Three of Swords. I think these are connected here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Three of Swords. Can you tell me about these two? Nine of Cups. And then the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So. Once again, it's almost like um, it's almost like someone's mad or upset that the other person is happy and getting what they want. Like, why the why should they be the ones that have something to celebrate and have something good happen to them? You know, almost. And, and again, that that this would really go along with some sort of toxic energy that I, that have shown up here with the devil. So I think that's part of the reason there's fear for your person. Someone's not going to be happy that they are happy. Or someone's not going to be happy with the fact that they are communicating something to you is what I feel. I don't know if this person needs to have some sort of a departure because I have the Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, and I also have the Nine of Pentacles. So it's almost like someone's being free or independent of someone else. Let's see how this person's thinking or feeling about you. I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. How is this person thinking or feeling about Sagittarius at this time? It's all my fault. What are they feeling or thinking about Sagittarius? I'm afraid. Yeah. This person, they might have done something to get themselves in a situation where now they might feel stuck. And like, you know, in order to leave that situation, courage is needed here that they don't have at this time. I feel like there are moves being made, though, because I have the Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. Um, I have here uh, the strength card. I have the knight of cups, you know, communication for sure. There's definitely going to be some sort of communication that is going to take place here. But I feel like someone's not going to be happy with your person's decision or whoever, you know, if, if you have been, if you have put yourself on this side, then with your decision, take it as it resonates. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonated for you, hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know it resonated, or just say hi. I love hearing from you, and I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.